I read all of the Nikki French Frida Klein series, and now I feel lost. I need to find a replacement. Hi everyone, it is April from Getting Hogo With It. Today we need to talk about detective -y police procedural series because I finished all of the Frida Klein series. I, I, I finished it all. Um, this was the last one. I read it very recently. Very sad. Also, can we just say the newer covers are so much nicer than the older covers. Why I need to explain that, I don't know, but it's over and I'm incredibly sad. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, you will not know my past history of struggling with detective series. I've had a long history of not finding anything that really works for me. And then I read Blue Monday and the whole Frida Klein series and it worked. So uh, before we dive in, and you, if you haven't read the Frida Klein series, I'm about to try and sell you on it. So the Frida Klein series follows a psychotherapist named Frida Klein. She is um, a therapist who helps out people in her office. And she, uh, one day in the Blue Monday book, the first book, she has a client who comes and sits down and he is talking about how him and his wife have been struggling to have a baby and they've been, you know, just struggling with infertility and that he keeps dreaming about this red-headed boy. Well, doesn't a red-headed boy go missing like two days later? And she decides, maybe I should go and talk to the police because it's eerily similar. And maybe this guy is, you know, deeply rooted and some have some real issues that he would kidnap a child. Now, Frida being Frida, she ends up getting involved in many cases over the course of the whole series. And Frida herself is this beautiful layered woman that you try to peel back and you slowly get to know her. Um, it's also very hooga set in London and um, her little home was just so wonderful. Will I find another series like the Frida Klein series? Probably not, but we're here to try and see what I should read next. Now, I've got several shorter series that I want to talk to you about before I dive into the longer series that I'm interested in. So the first smaller series I want to talk to you about is um, The Silence of the White City. This is the first in a series that has been written in Spanish. Um, this book is already out. I think the second book is coming out in February, so we don't have very long to wait. And The Silence of the White City is about a little town called Vitoria. And a madman is holding the whole village hostage because he is going around and killing off its citizens and posing them in these very creepy ways. Um, and we're, we have an inspector who is trying to figure out what's going on with these ritualistic murders. And what makes this like next level creepy is that these murders are eerily similar to murders that happened in the same town 20 years ago. I've heard really great things about this and I'll be diving into this for sure. Um, similarly is Death in the Family. Um, this is a Shauna Merchant novel. This is the first in a series. The second is coming out in December. Um, and this is meant to be like a kind of locked room mystery series. This is very much inspired by And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, which I loved. This follows a family who live on an island and a nor'easter comes in and is, you know, tearing the island apart. In the meantime, one of the family members goes missing. So they... Um, call the police and two police detectives come to try to solve the case. We have 
Shauna Merchant. And then we've also got Tim Wellington. And um, they go to the home and they find a blood soaked bed. And they start to think that maybe this man was murdered and maybe he hasn't gone missing at all. And there's something much more sinister going on. Um, I'm excited about this one. I, I love anything that tries to do and then there were none. It's very hard to impress me though. I love the idea of it, but sometimes the execution isn't always like next level there. Uh, but I have high hopes. I've heard very good things about this and one. There's the beloved Jane Harper series. Um, the first in the series is The Dry. I don't have the second in the series yet. Um, but this follows Aaron Falk. And I think the whole series follows him. I think there's only two so far in the series. So again, we're talking about short series first. Um, and this is about um, this agent, a federal agent, who goes back to his hometown after like 20 years of leaving it and he goes back because his best friend from childhood has um been found dead now it looks like he murdered his entire family um and he's basically back for the funeral uh but he does receive a note saying that essentially uh luke lied you lied be at the funeral um, and he has to figure out who wrote the note, what is, what is this lie all about? It sounds great. I've heard great things about her writing. So I could read this. That's definitely another one on my radar. And the last short series, before we dive into the longer series, is the Renee Denfield series. This is the Child Finder, and then there's also the Butterfly Girl. Um, in The Child Finder, we follow a private investigator who investigates kidnapped children. And she's very good at finding these kidnapped children because she herself, as a child, was kidnapped and survived it. And so in this story, we follow a woman who is trying to find a child who'd gone missing, a girl who'd gone missing, while they were choosing a Christmas tree in a forest and she dives in to try and find out what happened to this girl. I don't even know really what this one is about and I don't want to in case it spoils. <laughs> but this is another smaller series that I'd really like to get into. Okay, so now we need to talk about the long series that I really want to get into. Before we dive in, I just want to address that you will not be seeing Corman Cormoran Strikes that series on my channel. I actually read the first one many moons ago and didn't even like it, so I definitely wouldn't continue on with that series. Most importantly, um, that series is written by J.K. Rowling, who has repeatedly uh, disrespected and hurt the trans community, even after many people have tried to tell her why certain things that she said has hurt them and is hurting the community and is is perpetuating negative stereotypes um she has not been very open to criticism she hasn't been very open to listening um instead she's been very closed off and recently she decided that her most her latest novel in that series is going to feature a um, straight man who is going to dress up as a woman and kill off women. And enough is enough. Like, she has repeatedly hurt the trans community. I will not be mentioning J.K. Rowling on my channel anymore. Um, I'm definitely not going to be reading that series. So, um, as we dive into the longer series, uh, I just wanted you to know about that in case you didn't know about what's going on with J.K. Rowling and her hateful and hurtful things that she's been doing the, to the trans community. Um, yeah, I'm so all that to say, I'm not saying that you guys would recommend that series to me, but if you were thinking of it for a second, please don't recommend it to me because I will never read them. Um, what I will read are some of these series. Um, so the first series I want to talk to you about is this series I'm most likely going to get into. 
and it's for several reasons. It is a series that is really not talked about on booktube. I don't think I've seen anybody talk about it on booktube. Um, it is a Nordic noir series and similarly to Nikki French, it is written by a husband and wife duo. So this is the Juna Lena series by Lars Kepler. So they are a husband and wife team who live in Sweden and Nordic noir books are meant to be incredibly violent and I love that. <laughs> I'm one of those strange people that love that. Um, as I'm filming this, I'm reading The Chestnut Man and I'm really enjoying it. It is like very gruesome at some points, like uh, how I felt about Pretty Girls where you're reading going, ooh, oh, mew. That's happening in The Chestnut Man for me. And so I've heard very similar things to this series. So I'll tell you really quickly what uh, the first in this series is about. I ended up getting the hypnotist used at a bookstore a long time ago and then this weekend I ran out and got the second, the nightmare, and the third, the fire witness in the series because I know I'd really like to dive in. Now I will say before we hop into what this one is about, there are two translations of this series. The first translation looks very different from this and it was apparently kind of poorly done. Um, so the translation that I'm going to be reading is by a man named Neil Smith. So I'll be reading the Neil Smith translation of Lars Kepler's Juna Lena series. Whew. So the first in the series is um, about Junalina, who is a detective, and she comes across a triple homicide. Now there is a young boy um, who has survived this triple homicide. He witnessed his entire family being murdered, and he also survived, I think it's something like 100 knife wounds, and he is in a completely catatonic state. Now, Juna has had to reach out to a trauma expert named Dr. Eric Maria Bark, um, who's going to hypnotize this boy and try to figure out what happened. So she's trying to solve this crime. Now, apparently, as it goes on, I think the fourth in the series introduces a serial killer. Yes, I believe there are like I think there's seven of them so far. It is an ongoing series, but I just think this is gonna be a lot of fun. So I will most likely, like 100%, be diving into that series for my next long series, but I do have several more that I wanted to share with you as well. Many of you have talked about and have loved the Tana French series. I only have one on my shelves, but this is my mom's favorite and you can hop into the series anywhere. That's the beauty of the Tana French series. Um, so this is called the Dublin Murder Squad series. Um, and so essentially the series follows a different couple of detectives in this squad. Um, so every book you're reading from a, a different detective's point of view. That has pluses and minuses in my mind. Um, but in any case, I think this is the fourth or something in this series. I could read it linearly, but I think the kind of beauty of this is that you don't have to do that. Um, but Broken Harbor is about a couple of detectives who um, find that a family has been brutally murdered in a new build neighborhood. And so I guess this serial killer or this killer has gotten away with it because um it was new build and they were like the only people living there i don't know it sounds really good my mom read it and really liked it so um i will be getting to that series at some point another very beloved series that so many people love it's more of a cozy mystery series and it is canadian um this is still life by Louise Penny. Um, this is the first in the Three Pines series. So we follow Chief Inspector Armand Gamache, 
Um, and these murders keep happening in Three Pines, which is a small little village in Quebec. I grew up in Quebec. Uh, I don't speak French, but I still grew up in Quebec. So um, that should be interesting. So uh, one of the people who live in Three Pines is found dead in the woods with an arrow wound in her heart. And he has to get to the bottom of it. This is a big series at this point. Um, and I think every book takes place in a different uh, season. So this starts in fall. Um, in any case, it could be very good. I like my books a little brutal though. And I think this is quite light on that. That said, apparently you end up really caring about Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. And so that's really appealing to me. Um, and then I've got a Karen Th Slaughter series. Now she has two series. She's got the Grant County series and then the Will Trent series. I was going to hop right into the Will Trent series, but many of you said that those two series end up interlinking and it will ruin things. So I've, I've got two at the very start of the Grant County series. Um, I've got Blindsided and also Kiss Cut. Now I got these from the UK because the UK covers are so much nicer than the US covers. In any case, this follows uh, Sarah Linton, a pediatrician and medical examiner. She finds a woman dead in a diner. She had been horribly raped. She'd been um, stabbed twice with a, a knife. Um, in this like cross pattern on her stomach. And then there's another body found soon after um, who is found crucified and she realizes there is a link here and she starts to get involved. And so I think the whole series follows her, which sounds great. And now Karen Slaughter is also very violent in her writing, which is right up my alley. And so I have a feeling I'm gonna really, really like this series as well. Okay, and then the last series that I have for you here is a series that I feel like could be the closest in vibes to the Nikki French series. But I could be wrong. Jen Campbell read this and didn't love it. So that makes me nervous. But it's by Kate Atkinson. This is um, the Jackson Brody series. This is the first in the series. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't say anywhere on the back or anywhere what happens in this particular book. Um, but we follow Jackson Brody trying to solve a crime. Wow, I just really sold it, didn't I? <laughs> in any case, there's like a ton of books in this series. I think this series just recently got a redesign, which is gorgeous. I only have the first four in the series. There is a, a new one out there as well that I would need to pick up if I went with this series. But yeah, four long series. I am, I've decided that I'm going to start reading the Lars Kepler series. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and disturbing and I'm down for that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any other series that you would recommend to me, long or short. I'd love to know what you think. Um, I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. Uh, in the description box below, you can check me out on Goodreads. My Amazon wish list is there. Um, my Patreon, did I say Goodreads already? Instagram, hang out with me in all of the places and I will talk with you soon. Bye.